Hey, what's going on guys? Just a quick video today. Um, somebody asked me in my last live stream if I was still working on my uh, terminal file, file manager that I was creating. Uh, the answer was yes with a but, and that but was um, I get sidetracked very quickly, and so I haven't really touched it for a while, and I haven't pushed anything to my repo for a while. So um, that kind of lit a fire under me. So I actually went in and I did a little bit of work on it and made some changes and some put and uh, pushed the new updates to it. So while it still isn't complete yet, um, it is one step closer to be in there. And before you ask me, why are you creating another terminal file manager? There's already a million of them out there. Um, the answer is because uh, I thought it would be fun and I wanted to do it with FCF. So Let's actually just go ahead and take a look at it, shall we? So let me go over here and let's go ahead and launch a terminal. And let's see here. Nope, wrong screen. There we go. There we go. That's the right screen. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. And we are actually going to CD into FZFM and hit enter. And if I do, obviously, you can see right above it, um, I've got a couple different scripts up here. This is the main one we're going to be looking at, the FZM.FA.SH. <laughs> I can't talk today. So let's go ahead and um, NVIM into FZFM.SH and hit enter. And this is basically it. It's not a whole lot going on. It's not super fancy yet, like Ranger or LF or NNN or all these other scripts that do, or managers that do everything in the world. Mine doesn't quite do that yet, but you can traverse the file tree or directory tree. You can open files. You can make create files. You can create directories. There's there's a lot you can do. So if you scroll down, you can just see it's just running a while uh, running a while loop. That runs FCFM, which is the actual name of the function, and it runs the ls-a-1 and pipes it into FCF, which gives me my list of files and directories. I have some binds that I can move around. I can move the preview window up and down. I can move uh, my obviously my cursor up and down to select certain files. Uh, different keys like Control D, F, and T will create a new directory or create a new file or, or trash whatever selection I'm currently over. Um, Control C will... Um, uh, uh, excuse me, <laughs> I'm having a brain fart. Uh, it's going to copy. Um, control M is going to move, but those right now are actually in works because if you copy and move something, if there's already a file in that in that current directory that is named that, it doesn't rename it and save it. It just overwrites the file that's there. So that's kind of a bad um, a bad uh, function to have. But I'm working on that. So and we've got some colors down here. Um, we've got uh, like the height of the window. We've got our pointer. That's uh, just a couple arrows here. We've got the reverse setting, the multi setting. Um, we have the prompt and the border, and we have a label for the border, which is Fuzzy File Manager. Uh, and then we have our preview window. Uh, our preview window will actually um, check to see if it is a text file or an image file. If it's a text file, um, it will actually display the text that's in that file using the back command. Um, if it is a directory, it'll just run the ls command on that directory and show you what's in there. And if it's an image file, it will use the uh, the kitten on kitty iCat to actually do an image preview um, and size the uh, picture down to actually fit in the window uh, in the preview window for uh, for FCF. Um, then when you get down here, if your selection is a directory um, and you hit the right key on it or whatever, it will actually move you into that current directory. Um, if it's a file, if it's a text file, it will open up in NeoVim. If it's an image, it will open up in um, uh, GIMP. If it's an XCF file or SXIV, if it is a uh, normal image like a JPEG or a PNG or anything like that. Um, if it's a video, it uses MPV. Um, for application, which is a MIME type application, which is basically like your uh, uh, Office Docs and your PDFs and stuff like that, it's going to, depending on if it's a DOCX or an ODT, it's going to open it in LibreOffice. If it is a PDF, it will use Zathura. Now, you can change all these dependencies on your own if you have something else you like to use, but when you install the script, then you'd have to go in and actually edit it to use whichever you've got. Um, then also, if it's inode, it will open it in uh, NVIM. Or, yeah, excuse me, uh, in NVIM. And then that's about it. We have the end of the case statements. We have the uh, closing of the if statement. Um, we are done, and we clear, and then we run this the um, uh, function fzfm. And that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and quit out of this, and let's check it out. So let's cd home. 
let's clear the screen, and I have fzfm.sh aliased to fm in my bash rc. So if I hit fm and we hit enter, uh, you can see just traversing it just like normal, it's like any of the other file managers. We've got the nice preview window over here. Uh, you can see it's got a preview of the file if it's a file. Um, it's got a preview of the directory if it's directory. If I come up here to .config and I hit shift in the arrow keys, I can actually scroll that preview window. Um, so you can actually get a view of what's going on. That works in files as well. So if I come in here and I go to uh, my Emacs and my init.el for Emacs, you can see I can, I've got the image preview over there, or excuse me, the uh, file preview. But if I hit shift and up and down, I can actually scroll through that file as well. Um, so if we go back up and uh, say we're in our home directory and we have a file down here called Jake's Tester. So I want to remove that. Now remember I had those key bindings. I can hit control T and now that is no longer there. And so oh, that just did something here. Oh, I know what I did. I, I just added this and so actually you can see we've got this error here and now I'm no longer previewing. Let's go back over here. Let's go ahead and launch another terminal. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's do a little troubleshooting and fixing on the fly here. So let's go ahead and CD into fzfm, and we are going to nvim into fzfm.sh. And down here in trash, um, uh, where are we at in trash? All right there. Um, so I actually had to change out because LSD uses images and uh, icons. So I had to change that out. So let's go ahead and change LSD to command LS. And I see there's a couple other areas where I've got it too. No, not LSD. Um, and then even though we're not going to use them, I'm going to come over here and we're going to change these as well. Command LS. Boy, I'm on the, I'm on a roll here. Command LS. Now we've changed all those. Let's go ahead and write and quit and next. And let's go back to the first one here. Let's escape. Escape is going to exit out of there. And let's go ahead and run it again. And now if we, we have our image preview back. So now let's actually create a directory. So if I do control D, now it's going to ask me for the name of a directory. So let's do Jake's test dir again and hit enter. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom, uh, there it is. We have Jake's tester. Now, if I do control T, now you can see that is gone again, but I still have my image preview. So changing that LSD to command LS is uh, definitely took care of that. So let's go ahead and do control D again and do Jake's test dir and hit enter. And you can see there we are back again. I can navigate up into that and there's nothing here. So now if I do control um, F, I can enter file names. I can do one file, two file, three files. They just have to be uh, uh, separated by spaces. So let's do test and hit enter. Command failed. Okay, well, I've got something going on there. Uh, nope, it's still, it's still uh, created it. So we've got something going on with that. But let's quit out of that, but I've still got that. So let's do, I'll have to adjust that or fix that bug. So let's do control T. We'll do, uh, we trashed that. Now let's do control F again. Let's do test one and test two and hit enter. Now it says obviously that we don't have them, but if we exit out of there and we go back into FM and we come down here and go into Jake's tester, you can see I've got file uh, test one and test two. So um, it is creating it. I've got a little uh, hiccup going on. Let's go ahead and come back over here and see if we can't see what's going on real quick. Uh, maybe we'll fix that on the fly too. So we've got creating a file so it's going to, we're running that create file.sh. Oh, that's why. Uh, right there, I have a typo. So if we go in there and change that to control S or uh, LS, write and quit. Yes, go back to workspace one here. Let's exit out of there again. Go to FM. Let's go to Jake's tester. Uh, whoops. I can't use enter yet. <laughs> it's been a while since I've messed around with this script, so I apologize. Uh, I'm looking like a fool here. So let's. Uh, that just erased it, didn't it? F, that's interesting. So I didn't think that that would do that, but uh, yep, it's gone. So hitting enter um, got rid of that directory for me. Huh. That is something new. So let's do um, uh, control D. So we're going to add a new directory again. We'll say Jake's test. Um, now we're back into Jake's test and we will do control F for adding file names. We'll do 
test. There we go. We've got one file. We can go into it. We can quit out of it. It's there. If we do control F again and we do test one, test two and test three and hit enter, you can see we've created test two and test three. Um, if I go back and do control T again, that's going to trash that. It's going to move it into my trash directory. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, kind of take a look at one more thing here. If I didn't already, I don't remember if I did or not, but we're going to go back and look at images again. <laughs> so if we didn't, um, so let's go into images and go to wallpapers and city. And you can see we've got image preview with kitten. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of what we got going on right now. I've got some nice functionality. I've got preview for images for uh, files. Um, I've got uh, the ability to create files, create directories, uh, move things, copy things. Again, that's still in the works because it overwrites stuff, but uh, I can trash things. So it's, it's coming along, and it's actually a fairly... A uh, fairly cool file manager, if I do say so myself, which I kind of have to because I don't really think there's anybody else out there that's going to be using it at any point in time. But if we actually come over here to, let's open Brave Browser here, and let's go to, what do I have that up? I don't want that up. Uh, let's go to my FCFM repo. And you can see I've got the readme up here. Um, I've got fuzzy file manager um, gives you a note that this project is still a work in progress. Please read the entire README before cloning and using. And I don't have you guys up on the screen doing it. So let me go ahead and switch my camera view again. Uh, one of these days I'll get the hang of this. But uh, this kind of breaks everything down for you, how to install it, uh, the dependencies you're going to need, the features it supports, the stuff that's in progress, and the planned features for the future. It does have some known issues. Unexpected behavior may occur after creating files or directories. That I just took care of on screen, so we're not going to have to worry about that one anymore, so I'll have to change my readme. But that's kind of what we got going on with FZFM. Um, hopefully you guys check it out, uh, like it. Do me a favor if you do like it. Uh, and you're a GitHub or GitLab user and you feel so inclined to give me a star on that, that'd be great. I would uh, greatly appreciate it because, you know, any opportunity to uh, <laughs> give myself a gold star or have somebody else, uh, I'll go ahead and take it. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. You guys uh, definitely have a uh, great rest of your day, a great rest of your week. You know, stay safe and God bless.